Hello Internet, it's Bare Feet Billy, and I embarked on a new adventure recently. Several months ago, I discovered a website called archive.org, and on that website were a large number of public domain audiobooks. And the organization that had posted the most was one called LibriVox.org. So I downloaded a few um, titles read by people from all over the world. People just like you or me, really with no prior experience. Some with more than others, some who can read really well. Well, after reading a few of my favorite books by the author George MacDonald, I decided that I would attempt to make my own audio book um, on a title that they didn't already have on there called Gutta Percha Willie. It's the history of Gutta Percha Willie by George MacDonald. So, using my new PCMM10, which is a Sony, uh, uh, Sony product, Sony digital audio recorder, which is, I mean, it is top of the heap. It's the best you can get for the money. I started experimenting. So the following videos will be the process I've used to record uh, the Gutta Percha Willie. The first thing I discovered was you have to have a quiet place. So as you'll see in the videos to follow, I went into my closet uh, because there was good sound insulation and it was just as quiet a place as I could find in the house. So the first is a good consistent location. The second is always put your recording device in the same place and in the same orientation. It is very important that it's always in the same place if you want a consistent chapter by chapter audio recording. I did my audio recordings over about a four month period and toward the end I, I started ramping it up and doing more chapters in a shorter amount of time but I've gotten a really good result. So stick around watch this little video clip and it'll show you the process that I've used and found most valuable for recording your own audiobooks. Gutta Percha Willie by George MacDonald Chapter 20 How Willie Did His Best to Make a Bird of Agnes during the time he was at college, he did often Okay, things. this has been very interesting to be reading this audio book. Of course, the book is Gutta Percha Willie, The History of Gutta Percha Willie by George MacDonald. I've been using my Sony PCMM10 with the remote, and the way that I've found easiest to record this book, because I make mistakes, a bunch of mistakes every paragraph. But with the PCMM10 and the Sony SoundForge software that comes with it, I can put markers on the audio. So what I've been doing is saving all the audio to my Gutta Percha Willie folder here. I just finished uh, chapter 20. and chapter 21, so I'm going to make my new folders for those. And then I download from my PCMM10 the files, and this should be 20. And this should be 20. So once I have the files and the folders that I need them, I go to the folder, pick the file that I want to edit, and I open it, and it opens in SoundForge. Got a Percha Willie by George McDonald. 
chapter 20. How Willie did his best to make a bird of Agnes. So as the uh, during the time he was the time reader is moving along the timeline, I just listen to the book, and you'll see there's an orange marker here. The orange marker I put, I put the orange markers using the remote. I'll just do a T mark, a track mark. And the way that I've found is easiest to do these is to have one under, blah, you can tell it's, if you are uh, reading a lot, you're going to stumble. It's easiest to make one under, I can't say it, one uninterrupted sound file for each chapter. So you don't stop the recording, you just pause it. So if I need to take a break, I'll pause in between the recording of one sentence to another. And if I mess up, I'll just let it run solid and I'll hit a T mark and then I back up to the place where I messed up and start over again. And what happens when I do that is it puts a track mark on Sony SoundForge and then, and as, then I as I come in to edit it, there'll be a track mark there. So I know that I've messed up in my audio reading and I'll start playing it. Roots of love to its branches of theory. Must give himself to it that he may learn all of it that he can from its root of, See, from its root of it. So there is a mess up there. From its root of it. And this is the uh, place where I T marked it, track marked it. From its root of And there's the correct audio that I just paused for a moment and then placed in so I just its root of love to its branches of theory and its leaves from its root of love so you basically clip it back in and you never know it was missing nobody's any you know, it, you know it's none the wiser type of a situation but you'll do that 20 or 30 times as you're reading the chapter but it's real simple you clip out all those parts and you patch in the ones that work and then you just save the whole file and you're good.